We rely on 911 to get help. We count on police to make an arrest. But that's not what these officers are here for. No, 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 no we're we just, just stopping by. Want to check in with her, make sure she's doing all right. <laughs> a mental health crisis isn't a car wreck or crime scene. It is unfolding, emotionally messy, and it can take a lot of time. But Cobb County Officer Jacob King says it doesn't have to be that way. We're probably averaging about 90 minutes to handle a crisis call versus the four to five hours it would have taken me before. A response time cut by more than half. The difference? Matt Dames, the behavioral health clinician who sits shotgun with King to create Cobb's first mental health response team. Is it what you thought it would be? Um, no. <laughs> It's been a great adventure. Whether you're in Cobb County, Gwinnett, Forsyth, or athens Clark County, there are now co-responding teams to help. I was seeing people in crisis, and we were sending them to the hospitals, to the emergency rooms. Well, you were arresting the same people over and over and over again. And we thought we were helping them, and we weren't because we were seeing them back. My mindset now is I don't arrest people. It's been five years since I've made an arrest. Cobb's team says so far this year, they've only made three arrests. And that takes pressure off other parts of the system while getting the person the support they need. In some cases, might have called uh, 911 themselves or family members called three or four times a week. King says so far, after their team got involved, 80% never called 911 again. How you doing? People who once triggered sirens to the scene. For us to help? You gotta talk with us. In Athens, Sergeant Robbie Cochran says he reads every police report, about 80,000 so far, to see if there's a reason for his team to get involved. And they're working on something new, an alternative response team that would involve EMT and a social worker. So it takes law enforcement completely out of it. It would still come through the 911 dispatch, but then the dispatchers would say, okay, well, this doesn't necessarily meet police response. What percentage of the calls to 911 would you say have some kind of mental health connection? I would, I would peg that at north of 60%. Captain John Radford, who heads athens Clark County's 911 Center, says to help triage calls, every dispatcher is trained in crisis intervention, or CIT. To recognize the signs and symptoms of a mental health episode and to de-escalate situations. Both Athens and Cobb hope to add a social worker to the dispatch team to handle mental health related calls. But right now, they have another challenge. We're dealing with the biggest workforce shortages we've had in the 34 years that I've been in, in this field. We're seeing an influx of people who are in crisis and in critical need that we've not served before. Melanie Dallas is contracted with the state to care for the uninsured in the northwestern part of the state. She points to low pay and high burnout rates as a big part of the problem. But there's another concern, too. I think it's the unknown. They don't know what they're going to get into. Instead of an office, these clinicians work in the field. So how's everything going? Confronting the crisis as it happens. They're off medication. They haven't seen a therapist or a counselor in an extended period of time. Then there's the substance abuse, this person overdosed. Suicidal individuals. I don't have my dad, so I don't give a if I die. Now please leave me the alone. But after the crisis comes the calm. <laughs> The chance not just to save a life, but to change it.